Hello, I'm Marcel Neville. Time now for Sunday House Call. And I'm Eric Sean. Welcome, as always. With us is Dr. Mark Siegel, professor of medicine at NYU's Langone Medical Center. He's also the author of The Inner Pulse, Unlocking the Secret Code of Sickness and Health. And Dr. David Samadhi, chairman of Professor of Urology, Urology at Lenox Hill Hospital and chief of robotic surgery. Well, he is joining us live on the phone. Dr. Samadhi, can you hear us? Hello. Yes, good morning, and I hope all of you are safe and uh, away from all this snow that's out there. Good to be with you. Well, you're, out, you're not here with us today because of the snowstorm, uh, and a lot of people now that it's over, you've got to go start digging out. But, you know, shoveling snow can be dangerous, even if you think you're in pretty good shape. Tragically, uh, they say at least six deaths so far have been attributed to shoveling in this storm and in new york city it's a 68 year old man 78 year old man an 80 year old man a 94 year old on long island and a 61 year old on long island there's also a 60 year old man in maryland who authorities say succumbed to this because of shoveling dr siegel you may think you're in good shape and you know you're okay and you get out there in the driveway and, and sadly a, a, a tragedy can strike what a tragedy um, you know, the biggest problem with it is it's a goal-oriented behavior, Eric. That means people don't want to stop. If you're on a treadmill, you're feeling winded and short of breath, you could stop. But you don't want to stop till your driveway is shoveled out. That's the first problem with it. The second problem with it is the Surgeon General report has compared it to bicycle riding and says it's the equivalent of five miles. Can you imagine if you're a couch potato, 70 years old, and you haven't done anything in years, suddenly you get up there with a shovel and you're doing the equivalent of riding a bicycle five miles? There's 11,000 injuries a year from shoveling snow. One-tenth of them are heart, heart attacks or strokes, but those are the people that don't necessarily make it. So I say for tips, first of all, don't do it if this is your first exercise. Hire somebody next door to do it. Secondly, if you're going to do it, push the snow. Don't lift because a lot of the energy is expended with the upper arms. Take frequent breaks. And most of all, when you feel that heart rate going up, slow down, because again, the heart rate and blood pressure goes higher than on a treadmill even. Well, that's a good point, Dr. Samadhi. I mean, it's not a race uh, on one hand, and there's also tips that if you're over 50 years old, they say, you know, get someone else to do it. Pay a neighborhood kid get the to kids, shovel exactly. your driveway. Give them 20 bucks. Well, those statistics that you're talking about, Eric, is absolutely correct. If you look at all the data out there, people that are over the age of 55 have four times, listen to this, four times higher risk of getting heart attack, and especially in men. Men are twice more likely than women to end up having massive heart attack during this season. And a lot of it is something that we've discussed before. Because of the cold weather out there, those vessels, the coronary artery disease, the coronary arteries that bring the blood to the heart, they constrict. So if you have underlying disease, you have a high cholesterol, you have high blood pressure, you have coronary artery disease, now by constricting those vessels, it pushes you over and you may have massive mm. heart attack. Your blood pressure can go higher as a result of it, so the risk of stroke is, is much higher. And Arthur, a couple of weeks ago, brought a very good point. For people who are asthmatics, they have bronchitis, their respiratory rate, they get short of breath and they need to stop. So people who are at real at risk are the ones that are diabetics, they have high blood pressure. If you have any kind of breathing problem or asthmatic, you want to make sure that you pace yourself because this is not the time to start going out there and push yourself and exercise. If you're not in good shape, this is not the time. And that's why, as Mark mentioned, pace yourself, make sure you cover all the extremities so you don't lose heat uh, from your body. And call 911 if you're really not doing well. That's so important to catch them early to save their life. Mm, that's a good point. And I want to uh, talk to Dr. Siegel because I know we're saying, Dr. Siegel, that of course if you're over a certain point, a uh, certain age, and if you haven't been exercising, don't do it. Hire the kids. But let's talk about the kids because there are some dangers involved there. No, maybe not a heart attack, but you know, kids getting out there shoveling the snow. Well, sure. So how, imagine how bad you would feel if you say, I'm not going to sh shovel snow because I'm over 50. And as David mentioned, that's a four time greater risk of a heart attack. You hand it off to a kid who then has a problem like asthma because the cold weather can induce asthma. Also, there's a lot of underlying heart disease that people don't know about. You know, they get out in the cold, they're lifting a shovel, and then they suddenly don't feel well. They don't want to stop. The main thing you have to do is warm up. You know, if you're going to do this, make sure you warm up indoors before you even start shoveling. And then when you get out there, make sure you're ready for exercise. Like, how often should you go back inside? 
I'd say every 10, 15 minutes, because again, 15 minutes of shoveling snow is the equivalent of riding a bicycle five miles. I don't want anybody that doesn't exercise doing this. And even if you are in good shape, Arthel's point is excellent. Do 10 or 15 minutes of it, go back inside. And what's, what's the big deal, by the way? Can you imagine people are shoveling during the middle of the storm, Eric, and then it gets covered over? Yeah, I mean, I don't even understand what the fanaticism is about this. Well, so, think, Dr. Samadhi, think, yes, before you... Mark Go, before Mark's you... point is well taken, Arthur. Yes. What he says is very important. When he talks about this 50 minutes of shoveling is the same as five miles of biking or half, uh, half an hour of swimming. This, this data is very important because you don't realize when you're out there, only within 15 minutes you put so much pressure on your major organs, your lungs, your heart, your other organs, that you really have to be careful and pace yourself. In the cold, by the way, your arteries clamp down, so there's more stress on your vital organs. So the kind of circulation we need, that's why the heart's under such pressure, because in the cold, the heart is under more pressure. Arteries are clamped down. And make sure you're okay. well hydrated. Uh, that's bottom important. line, you know, bottom line, I'm, I'm going to pay a kid. Bottom line, get the kids to do it. Uh, treat them well. If you want to do it, do it slowly or get a snowblower. One of those big gym machines. All you have to do is push the machine. It'll do all the work for you. Like Arthel says, get a healthy kid, though. <laughs>